Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me once again here in Computer Tycoon. We've moved on possibly a couple of years now since you were last with me and as you can see the map is a whole lot more colourful and there's a good deal more green which is my company colour on here. Uh, I currently have 14.92% of global computer sales um, but I, th that's it. I am still very... Actually, am I in second or third place? We can check the stats on that. Market share. I'm in second place now. Yes, although Afari, Mr. Blue here, has taken a substantial chunk more of the global market uh, than they had before because we're both squeezing the brown guy and all the others are, are just sort of falling away now. Uh, Cheap and Great did make a bit of a comeback. They did have a nice share uh, in the last year or two, 1983-1984, uh, which you, you haven't have seen because a new technology. I've got new technology. Lovely. Thank you so much. Um, but we're squeezing them, um, largely because I've been forcing myself into countries where they're sort of coming back into, they were coming back into life, like in Poland. They're not having that. No, nope. they have got Hungary. It's a very small marketplace. Would it be cruel to take them out? Possibly not. Um, but the best thing is, is you can see up here in the top, top right, uh, I do need to shut down a bit more factory. Uh, let's take you down a bit. Oh, actually, I need to sort this in order. Before we do that, uh, there we go. Uh, let's, see, let's go down here. I've got so many sites and factories now. Take you down a bit. Yeah, I am producing over 16 million. Uh, yeah, 16 million production points uh, of stuff. Uh, now, this this is what happens. Uh, did something just happen there? No, it's okay. We're safe. I think I'm going to pause it now, just in case something big happens. Uh, yeah, what's happened is the blue guy, Afari, moved into a couple of very big countries. Um, Brazil in particular and lots of South, Afri South America here, as well as other African countries. And even, and we mentioned this one in the last episode, France and the Netherlands, which are very big countries. Uh, again, this is an ahistorical map. It is entirely random in terms of country wealth and population. Uh, very big, very expensive, but they've obviously been making so much money they can afford to do that. Um, and also, not Denmark, but the Netherlands, a big country too. I've since gone into the Netherlands as well and taken it over! Yeah. Um, but what is also happening here is because they're selling so much, they're making some really good computers as well. And they have st stepped ahead of me in some research areas, which has given them... Uh, an extra boost up. In fact, if I look on here for Blue and the Brown Company, Mr. Big, who's my only other remaining competitor, really. So if we look at these here, uh, let's go for most recent, shall we? There we go. Oh, they've got and released a new machine. Yeah, just the just last month, a month ago. Uh, it's very expensive, but they are outperforming me on, outperforming me on performance on storage. Oh, they have boosted that. They weren't so good on storage before. Uh, feature set. They're coming close to me, but they're not sort of hitting the mark. Prestige. I've got the edge over them. Ease of use. But what they have done is their quality. Uh, that is quality, isn't it? The star. Yeah. Is that, that is two, two and a half thousand. I mean, that is ridiculous. That's three times what I've what I've achieved so far and I'm the closest they've got to that and they've done that because they oh truth that's very noisy computers some customers won't like that it's because they have researched water cooling of all the research options they could go for they went water cooling so if you're going to research here where the heck is water cooling down here somewhere I imagine Advanced heat sinks, pal Peltier, cooler, heat reduction, water cooling right up here. And that gives you an immediate 300 extra quality points. Um, and it takes the temperature of your equipment right down. Yeah, as we're introducing bigger, better, faster, smaller components into our computers, the heat is gradually ramping up and increasing 
uh, on our components. In fact, if we look at some of my mach my latest machine, yeah, I've got a level eight heat on that, my latest one. Uh, the one, my oldest one that I'm still selling is level zero. Uh, that's all because we've now got new power supplies, we've got new uh, motherboards, we've got new hard disk drives, we've got new powerful GPU cards. Uh, so if we look at the GPU, we've now got um, Sprite accelerator chips and stuff. Uh, we've gone down to three micron uh, chip, whatever that is, <laughs> manufacturing technology, uh, which does reduce costs a lot, but it does have some downsides. We needed to go to three micron because I have now researched the 8088 chip. Uh, which is sort of the next stepping stone before we get to actually don't need co don't need that for co-processors or anything or even 286s but yeah that'll be the day when we get to 286s we are talking proper PCs there we have got a lot of research we've completed in the meantime since you were away uh, I've done a fair amount in the power supply area uh, so we've got increased noise reduction We've gone right through to the AT power standards. We've now got micro microphones and mice. Uh, as I said, we've got the hard disk drive, which we needed here, because I think I'd need to get five and a quarter inch disk drives before I can actually start manufacturing my very own PC, the next generation of computers. So that's kind of where I'm heading. But the five and a quarter inch bay I'm not sure anybody else has researched that because that's quite high. Uh, what have I got sh on my current schedule? Uh, open the queue. No, I'm doing something else at the moment. Um, I want to get there at some point soon. But anyway, yeah, so we've got some funky new computers, uh, as, as, as has our competition. And what tends to happen is they bring out a new computer which beats me in some particular respects or other and the the color of the map changes completely so it ch usually changes from green to blue uh, until i can bring out a new pc and reduce my prices and take that on okay we have been picking up our manufacturing sites we have you got have researched a new technology thank you we'll be going to eprom and then i'll bring out a new computer i think oh, we are at the end of the year Click in the Bahamas. There we go. We now have level four factories, which produce two and a half million production power points themselves individually. So I've got several of those now. Uh, there's one in Lithuania. Uh, oh, I've got a level three research lab now in Guinea. So that's giving me lots of good re research points. South Georgia Islands. Uh, Ireland, uh, Libya, we've got several of these really big factories, which means I can respond very effectively to demand uh, when it sort of pipes up, which it's not doing at the moment, so I need to reduce my... You have researched a new technology. Oh heck, it's going... Uh, am I going to wait for the ROM cartridge? I might wait for the ROM cartridge. Because that's a memory thing, if I remember correctly. Oh no, it's not, it's an input device. That's right, it's an input device. If I reduce that, yeah. Now that did mean I had to go to level four recreation and level four recreation is an on-site cinema. Isn't that cool? So you've got ice creams, you've got coffee shops, you've got gyms, burger joints, and now a cinema for my on-site staff. Really rather nice. Okay, the map's still looking very green. I'm at 15, over 15 and a half percent of the market. I want a new, new country, I think. Where should we go? USA, that's a bit expensive still. Canada, oh, now Canada again is a green, sorry, is a blue and brown country. I could go there. Uh, Chad, no. South Africa. I'd like to get more, oh, Mauritania. Nigeria. That's cheap. Mauritania looks quite good. There is poverty, and I make less money in poverty countries, <laughs> as, as we know. Oh, Mozambique. Yeah, let's go Mozambique, shall we? That's very, very cheap. Uh, it is only, it is poor, but there you are. We'll buy that. It's, it's over, only 200,000. 
that's fine. Uh, demand is outstripping. I need to increase output a little bit. There you go. That should take that up. I mean, I'm making over nine million a day now. This this is really nice. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to have the ROM cartridge in a ROM cartridge in a moment, which means we need to create some new hardware, and then I can move on to the new PC. Oh, a new home computer. It's not a PC yet. Um, have I got what was that country I just bought into? Mauritania? Was it? No, it wasn't. Where was it? I've forgotten where I bought. <laughs> Oh, good. Gr oh, Mozambique. Oh, it's gone green already. Lovely job. Excellent. You have researched a new technology. The thing is, when I'm, cause I'm buying into really big countries now, the demand is such that they easily eat into my warehouse of 32 million production points. So I've got to be, keep an eye on that if I want to make sure I can meet demand. Uh, my demand isn't that far behind. Your research queue Sorry. is empty. My production isn't that far behind demand, so keep it there. Okay, we'll pause for a moment because we've got research to do. So what do we have here? We have time sharing. Okay, now that is an operating system type thing, isn't it? Uh, up here somewhere. Software. Well, time sharing. There it is. That is just operating system. So we need a new operating system. Uh, there you go. Uh, and I hadn't done this before, um, although it's kind of obvious, obvious because we've got these people down here, is if I click on my competitors here, I can see where they are in terms of what components they have produced. Now, when we get into the PC generation, when we get into that uh, technology, we will, be we will actually be able to license or purchase or share components, I believe, and technology with other, com with other companies. Uh, if I feel like it, that is, I might be very selfish. Uh, right, so we need a new operating system. Uh, this is going to be... Uh, we'll call it just three. So it's still a command line interface. So there, yeah, well, gives a lovely boost of features. So that's created. Okay, the other thing, big fan. And uh, that is just the power supply, isn't it? I think, yep. So we just need to update our power supply. Uh, I don't know. I want to turn that off. Power supply. Uh, yeah, everyone's now at, uh, looks like they're, everyone's at 80 power supply uh, standards. But theirs aren't as good as mine, obviously. Um, Okay, his is water cooled, so he's got a really big boost in quality. That's that's ridiculous water cooling at this stage of the game. Uh, we don't need the old fashioned power adapter. Don't click that. Click there, and then I can archive it. Okay, so let's uh, copy this one. And this is going to be uh, again. It's still an AT power supply, so we'll just make it the fourth generation of that by introducing the big fan. Yeah, level 8 noise, but the heat goes down, which is, well, there you are, you see, and it's the uh, quality of it that actually goes up a little bit. Okay, that's fine. And what else have we researched? The EEPROM, and I think, is that just a motherboard? Oh, uh, yeah, just motherboard. Okay. Take you out. Motherboards. Uh, I don't want my oldest motherboards here on the list anymore. So I'll take you out. Uh, in terms of motherboards, I'm well and away the best. Why am I the best? Oh my goodness, they've gone to one and a half micron. Yikes. Well, they do cut back on quality and features. Yeah, the AI companies do work in different ways. Obviously, a fiery just leaps ahead in terms of uh, technology research and so on. So I'm not quite sure. BIOS with jumpers. I'm not quite sure why mine is better, but I do bump up the quality because I, I, I like to give positives to my machines, my components. So we'll copy you. Uh, what we're adding here is the EEPROM, isn't it? We'll just call it 11 because EEPROM is quite a internal thing that uh, yeah, 
average computer user wouldn't be too bothered about, perhaps? I don't know. And it's nice how these uh, images, these graphics change as sort of components and indeed your computers sort of develop uh, in technology. So that was the EEPROM. Is that the last thing we have done? Oh, we've got the ROM cartridge. Now, that was an input device somewhere. Tape drive, ah, uh, ROM cartridge, there it is. Yep, that's just an input device. We haven't had a new one of those for a while, actually. Input devices, get rid of the motherboards. Uh, yeah, been quite a while. And they're still working on old technology. Oh, I'm going to steal a march here, aren't I? Most definitely. This is going to be our ninth input device, and it's not going to be a floppy disk anymore. It's going to be cart. Take you away. Put you in. Oh, no, somebody else has got cart. I, I, that looked a bit like the tape drive. Didn't it? Okay. Oh, yeah, Afari has got the cart as well. They've really just added it into their portfolio, though, so that's fine. Uh, but again, because I'm bumping up my... You don't water cool these things. You do You can water cool them. Good grief. And he's got small fans as well. My goodness, they're going to be noisy. People won't like that. No, OK, so I have got my new components. Let's build us a new computer. Now uh, we'll take our latest model here. We will copy that. It's going to be called the cart. Is this 85? We're in 86 already. Gosh, doesn't the time fly when you're enjoying yourself? 86. There you go. Right, so do we have any new accessories? Nope. Do we have any new memory? Nope. Do we have a new CPU? Uh, no, we don't. Um, removal media. We have the new cart. So we'll add that to the computer. GPU, that hasn't changed. Uh, the power supply has though. Uh, it costs a bit more, but it's better in some ways and worse in others. <laughs> uh, our storage, that's still the hard disk drive we've got. Uh, oh, back to editing it. Uh, the motherboard has improved a little bit. And our operating system has improved a little bit. Okay, so let's save that design. Let's create that prototype. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. And um, back we go on. Oh, my research queue is empty. So do we need to... Yeah, we need to look at that. Get the game running anyway. All right, uh, so what's cheap? Small fans. Yeah, we can add that. I don't know, I didn't want water cooling. Remove. <laughs> I wanted the small... Your research queue is empty. Yes, I know, I'm working on it. Why is this... Uh, why is it... Hang on, what, what? I'm clicking... Uh, uh, I, well, okay, maybe it's because my mouse was over the wrong place. Maybe you saw that and I didn't. I, was, I wasn't watching what I was doing. Okay, now what I really want to do is the, these down here... I want to get into PCs, but I'm going to leave that just for a moment. ATX power standard, okay. Actually, what? We just check that all these are relevant to home computers. Still, yeah. So the monochrome CRT monitor, yeah, we'll add you, and we'll add. Actually, water cooling is getting quite cheap now. And the one a quarter, one and a half micron. Yeah, we'll do that. That's all good. So we'll get our uh, search teams working on that. How's the world looking? Looking beautifully green. Still over 15% of the market. Uh, I am overproducing slightly. So I need to buy into somewhere new. Let's have a look. Are there any rich countries we can look at? That uh, are... There you go, are new to me. Rich or filthy rich. Let's go for big populations. New Zealand, now there's a big, 
big one. Uh, the thing is, we can afford any of these because we've got four billion in the bank. Fiji. Ooh, where is Fiji? That's somewhere in the Pacific somewhere, isn't it, I think? Um, oh, yeah, this is a bug we saw a little while ago on this current build of the mi current build of the game. If you go into the research uh, tree, the compatibility menu sits there. But if you go into a site and come back out again, it disappears. Lovely. Uh, Fiji. Where the heck is Fiji? Um, it's a blue country. Will that help? Uh, what's this? This is all... Oh, that's all India. That's Indonesia or Malaysia. What are these islands out here? Oh, you're Fiji. Right. Uh, oh, and Brown are there too. I think we should do that. Yeah, let's buy a license into Fiji. Yeah, only 70 million. I can afford that. That is not a problem at all. Okay, are you going to go green? You will soon, I think. Yeah, I'm eating into their market share. Oh, I need to change it to that. There we are. Fiji is mine now. 15.81% of the global market. Sweet, I've got three logistics points. Yeah, the big countries need four, so I need to increase my logistics points somewhere. Your new computer model is polished. Thank you. Right, let's get this baby on the market and take the world by storm. That's a technical term for sell it, selling a lot. Uh, okay, uh, including the prototype models. There you go. So, how do we compare? Oh, ease of use. We're ahead. Apart from the water cooled of Fahari, we're doing quite well in terms of quality. Our prestige is, yep, top marks as well. Feature set, I'm really good with that. Yeah, they've beaten me in storage. Performance, they're still out, out doing me. Uh, hang on, let's, let's stop the game for a moment. Uh, oh, I, I know, I'm, I'm this one here, aren't I? Oh, they've just issued a new computer. They've just released a new computer in the last... No, 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 they... Have they? Uh, 2002? I, I'm losing track now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they have. Yeah, this, this... I'm the second line here, aren't I? Uh, I'm still doing very well in... Ah, oh, they beat me on performance again, but... Okay, but they're still selling at ridiculously high prices. Okay, so I will actually... Uh, let's just check how my computers are selling. So we'll get rid of one of them. So you're selling 622 in the last day. The, the hard disk one, 4,000. Okay, this is looking to be a fairly cut and dry decision. 5,000. Yeah, I think our oldest model is... Uh, yep, for the chop. Thank you and good night. Well done. Over 700,000 sold. And my latest machine. 865 to 868. I mean, it's only a few dollars more expensive than the previous model, but it's packed so many more jolly good features. Uh, so we could leave that as 3149. And I think we would sell enough of those. Yeah, they're, they're close. Interesting that I'm not top dog now in most of these feature sets. Disappointing, but I think uh, let's market you, get the game running, and we sold 13,500. 33,027,000. Oh, the production demand is enormous, so we need to get all our factories pumping this stuff out. Uh, there you go. Oh, you're a level 3 factory. We might be upgrading you soon. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that as is. Are we coming close to meeting demand? No, nowhere near. Right, now I have been upgrading my recreation areas to level 4, which they need to be for a level 4 factory. So let's upgrade Italy now to a level 4 factory. I mean, they cost, they cost 2.5 million a day, base cost. 
but I'm easily making that amount of money, so that's not a problem. Now you see here, yeah, things have gone blue again because that other guy's new computer. But now that I'm meeting demand and got competitive prices again, I'll be edging back in. But I'm still making so much money. Oh, I wanted to increase my logistics. You don't have enough manufacturing yes, capacity. I know, I'm working on it. In fact, can we increase China to level four as well? Yes, let's do that. Right, logistics. I need to buy some more countries. Okay, level two. Have we got any level ones still? I don't think I have. They've been all upgraded, right. Okay, we'll start at the top in the Bahamas. Okay, it will cost me 20 grand base price per day for a level three logistics. Oh, I need a level, ah, I need a level three office. Ah, all right. Okay, we'll build one of you. In fact, we'll build one of you in Ghana as well. I suppose, yeah. And then we can build our level three logistics from there, which will give us loads more points to go into loads more countries. Excellent. Actually, just don't, you haven't seen the stats the yet, have you? Really? Has completed. What was that? That was a factory upgrade. Ah, excellent. So I'm getting closer to meeting demand, and the next factory upgrade in China should meet that. When it's done, I did set it in action, didn't I? Yep, that's coming up. That's good. Yeah. Uh, what was I looking at? Oh, the stats. The stats. Yeah. So in the years you were away, we'll just look at turn the game to pause for a moment. Yeah, earning two billion last year. That's that's quite a nice profit, isn't it? <laughs> so far, we're in May. Uh, no, we're not. We're in April. Earned over a billion already sales doing very nicely customers uh oh australia uh someone's gone and bought into united states that'll be the afari guys they have got too much money they don't know what they're doing with it and france yeah if i need to, and canada i'm not in any of those countries i don't think i'm in new zealand either yeah, I need to target those really big countries, so I'm going to need to up my factory levels again. Uh, market share, though. I'm doing well. I am doing well, but Afari is still stretching out that lead. They are improving better than I am. That's the problem. They are improving faster than I am. Okay, but your with building our... upgrade has completed. Excellent, right? So we've got uh, okay, so Bahamas and Ghana now have uh, level three. Actually, should we go to the sites and just see what they look like? So the office here, whoa, that is a lovely big office complex. That's level three, which gives me a 30% discount on all my buildings on the daily cost of all my, my buildings. Uh, logistics, we can upgrade that to level three. Uh, we can do the same for Ghana, up to level three, which should give me loads more logistics points. So I should be able to buy into all those other really big countries and start catching up properly with the Fari solutions. We've got Sudan. How dare they? Oops, demand is slipping back again. They haven't been releasing new computers, have they? No. Bigs have a new one out as well, but they're, they're priced so much more than mine, although they do offer huge discounts, but I am still cheaper, but again, maybe not. You have researched a new technology. Meeting the characteristic preferences. Oh, there we go. I'm back in Africa. Excellent. Uh, what was I looking for? <laughs> Your building upgrade has completed. Uh, oh, yes, small fans. Yeah, we've now got 17 logistics points. Okay, let's see, where can we go? Let's look at our market list again. Uh, New Zealand. Oh, if I took New Zealand. If I got into New Zealand, who else is there? Just blue. It's 
going to cost me 230 million. So I'm not even going to drop below 5 billion by, by, by buying into that country. Again, I'm, I'm doing this very simplistically now because I've got so much money um, that I can afford, and I'm selling so many, I can afford to do this without actually paying attention to the preferences. So in a sense, this is kind of where the strategy of the game is starting to fall apart because you can sort of, it's kind of like the tank rush thing you got in some of those um, tactical strategy RTS type games where you get to a certain level and you can just push forward regardless and crush every all the opposition uh, through that without thinking in detail about the strategy. So this is kind of where perhaps we need the, the game to sort of work more in, in a more thoughtful way of developing the strategy um, to evolve your company growth in opposition to the AI that it does at the moment. I mean, I am playing on hard mode, so it did. It has taken me a little while to get here. I mean, if, if I was doing this on normal or easy, um, I, I would have had 99% of the market by now, I reckon, because I, I would have had the advantages over the AI. But as we've seen, the AI companies are falling down. That's I want this one. Um, yeah, there, there's only three of us out of the eight, seven. Out of the seven that started, there's only three of us basically left. And I'm in a very strong second, but a long way behind the leader, uh, New Zealand. Did I buy? I did buy to New Zealand. Uh, that's on top. There it is. Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm filling up my warehouse again. So I could either cut production or buy into another country. Let's buy into another market. Uh, Bolivia, Ukraine. Oh, the, ah, right, I'm looking for just rich countries. Let's go for average as well. Ooh, Russia. French Polynesia. Looks like no one's gone there yet. St. Helena. I'm thinking... Yeah, Russia likes performance. I'm not so hot on that at the moment. So St. Helena might work for me oh, but then i've not got the quality because i don't have water cooling <laughs> water cooling goodness me uh ukraine i could go ukraine that's only one logistics point but i could yeah let's buy a license into the ukraine let's go there too and we'll see that uh, that little place turn green as well you know you want to there you go. Beautiful. All right, and we're still not meeting our, we're still overproducing. Somewhere else, I've got 12, just, if I went into the US or Canada, the US is that much bigger. Uh, what's France like? Ooh, actually, France. Canada is, is less populous than France. Which is curious. We could go into Canada. Let's go to Canada. There you go. Done. I've still got over five billion in the bank. Right, excellent. Right, demand is now outstripping my production capacity. So how are my factories doing? Let's sort this. Uh, oh, 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 anchor. Oh, right, we're at, we're at, uh, at our limit, I think. Uh, okay, I need another. S I could upgrade Ghana. Let's have a look at Ghana. How much is the factory costing me? I, I could afford that, I think, couldn't I? Um, but I need recreation level three to do that. But what might be better is to actually go into a new site somewhere for a, a new factory and do it that way around. So uh, I'm looking for wealth, aren't I? So we're just looking for the poverty of the poor countries. There we go. Uh, we've got Ireland, uh, Egypt, South Georgia, we're already there. Zambia. Po oh, Poland. Right, we're going to Poland. We'll build a site in Poland. 
Yes, a mere 30 million. That's fine, no problem at all. So here we are in Poland. We want to build an office. We want to build a factory. We want to build logistics and also recreation area. So you should all start. That's it, coming out of the ground. Right, uh, where are we? We're 18% of the global computer market now. And Canada has gone green too. This is a very impressive result. I think worthy of a screenshot. Uh, I can't, yeah, the zoom isn't quite bit. Ooh, did that Canada just flash? Let's do that now before it flashes off again. <laughs> right. Oh, I've new, I haven't got New Zealand. You though. have researched a new technology. Thank you. Your building upgrade has completed. Right. Uh, well, I've, I've not quite got New Zealand, but we'll ignore that for the time being. Right, so we are doing very, very well, I think. Your building uh, upgrade has our completed. Our sales are doing nicely. Your building upgrade has completed. Yes, thank you. Your uh, building upgrade <laughs> has completed. <laughs> yeah, when you set a lot of things in train at the same time, and they all come to fruition at the same time, and you just get this endless stream of messages. But yeah, we're looking very, very nice here. Um, we're not quite eating into Afari Solutions yet, but we will be certainly very soon i think perhaps in the next episode but you're going to have to wait for that because we're going to say bye bye for now um, thank you so much for joining me here in this episode of computer tycoon i hope you've enjoyed what we've done today if you have it'd be great to hear from you a little bit of a like would be lovely Just click on the old thumbs up button but even better if you've uh, anything to say any thoughts suggestions recommendations criticisms even anything you feel like saying then please do drop a note into the comments box below it'll be awesome to hear from you and of course if you've not already subscribed to the channel you could do that now and that way you'll know when i upload another one of these or any of my other let's play series but from me ajax post here in computer tycoon until the next time bye bye for now